Hello and welcome folks, it's the crazy captain here and welcome to another episode of Fishing Baron's Sea. Now we're just checking the weather forecast here guys and it looks like it's going to be a little bit blowy out there. I don't know whether I should wait a couple of days or just go out there and do it. I think I'm going to take a gamble. Well, I'm going to actually go out and do it, so <laughs> we'll just refuel the boat here. Make sure we got fuel on, very important. A boat without fuel is a boat that's going nowhere. Also, before we go out, I'm just checking the fish quotas down here on the right hand side. Cod, I'm nearly, I've nearly reached my quota on cod there, so I think I will mainly um, target... Uh, Pollock. I think that's what we'll go for. So I need to check my gear because I think for Pollock, possibly mackerel might be best for bait. I think if I use mackerel, I get a 55% chance of catching Pollock and uh, less cod. So we'll go for that. I've got some long line um, hooks, some gear already on board. And we've got three crew members. You do need three crew members for this particular ship. And we're going to work them hard, I say, on the captain's ship. <laughs> so those of you who'd um, inquired, have you got a crew to work? Yes, you have. This particular ship requires you to have three crew. And... The difficult bit is, when you've caught the fish, to actually unload, you've got to have them all packed up. You can't, you can just fast travel back to the port, as, as you've seen in previous um, videos, fast travel back to the harbour, but once you've got to the harbour, you've got to make sure all them fish are packed up, because you can only unload when they're all packed up. That's the difference with this ship. Aha! Right. Castaway chaps, telly -o. Let's uh, Let's see if we can uh, get off the harbour wall without damaging the uh, without damaging the hull of the ship. And I named this ship the Cod Father. Just in case you've never watched any of the previous videos in game, you can actually change the names of your ships. So chaps, this game is actually due to be released on the 7th of February 2018. It's in the Steam store right now. If you want to go and check it out, the link's in the video description below. And if you're interested in the, ga in the game, go and add it on your wish list. 7th of February 2018, you could be your very own skipper. You could be a captain, haha. <laughs> you could be a captain just like me, but not a wobbly one. So we're going to... We're going to go out to the uh, out to the harbour area now, and um, it's all nice and calm at the moment. But um, did it say 15 miles per hour winds on the uh, on the uh, weather forecast? So it might be a little bit choppy out there. I think I should have waited a couple of days um, because it might be a little bit difficult um, battling against them waves once we're out on the ocean. And just remember, just remember folks, that this isn't quite the finished game what you're actually watching. Um, things could possibly be improved, changed, tweaked um, before the actual game's released. I know the devs are working very, very hard in the background um, getting this game ready for release on the 7th of uh, February. So just remember that folks, this isn't quite the finished game what you're actually watching here. And let me just mention, um, guys, why I'm actually leaving the harbour here about um, a future upcoming video. I've not only got one, I've not got two, but I've actually got three game retail keys to give away for Fishing Baron C in an upcoming video. So make sure you don't miss that one if you'd like the chance of uh, winning a copy of the game three game keys courtesy of the game developers 
So look out for that one, chaps. Real soon, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, putting up a video um, with full details of that giveaway. You know, be sure not to miss that if you want a free copy. Um, there's every possibility. You know, you may be lucky. I've got three to give away. So look out for a future video with more details on that giveaway, guys. So when you actually start this game, if you'd seen the uh, previous videos, you start off with a little wooden boat um, that your grandfather gave to you. And you, you build your fishing empire. Now this is the third ship. I'm actually on at the moment. I do have the Lunar Bow. I do have the Lunar Bow. And I could have I could have um, done a video today showing you the Lunar Bow. But uh, there's a few more little tweaks, I think, that they're doing to the Lunar Bow. And I want to uh, I want to uh, try and show it you um, and go out and actually um, use it full, fully working. I had a little bit of firm trouble um, last night with it and I was, I was speaking to one of the game devs and um, I think they're still obviously tweaking one or two things on the on the Lunar Bow at the moment. Um, like I say, this isn't the finished um, copy of the actual game. This is just a press release version. It's not the final version. So hopefully in a future video we'll be going out and we'll be going out on one of the biggest ships and they are huge. They are huge, the biggest ships. Once you get in them bigger ships, I mean I sail I did sail it out the harbour yesterday evening and um, it's a complete different game changer when you get in the bigger ships. They go a little bit more sim-like. They're a little bit more difficult um, to, man to manoeuvre because they're huge! They're huge! They're not like this one, chopped in off. They're huge! <laughs> they're really big. So um, I'll be out hopefully real soon on the Lunar Bow and the, uh, and, and, the and the next one up actually as well from that um, in, in future videos. Right up to the 7th of February, I'll uh, probably um, be doing a lot on this uh, Fishing the Barren Sea. So hope you can join me. It really is. I mean, I've played this now. I've put about 40 hours in this game so far. Um, and I haven't got the final version, you know. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to how this game evolves in the future. And um, play, actually playing the final version of the game. There's a lot of people out there saying, oh, there's a lot of people playing the game, there's a lot of people playing the game. Well, this isn't the final version of the game, you know. Just think how lucky you'll be. You'll actually get the final version, the working version of the game. <laughs> and it's like, uh, did I nearly hit the, uh, hit the wall or something there? I thought I'd nearly hit something. Are we out? We're out. There we go. Let's get on the old map charts. So what we're looking for here, guys, is uh, is Pollock on this map. Now, wouldn't it be difficult if you couldn't actually see where the fish are and it was like this and you actually had to go out and hunt them down? <laughs> Maybe they should put a more hardcore setting into the game because if it was like this, you wouldn't know where the fish were. And you wouldn't know whether you were overfishing it or, or what or what. When it's like this, it's quite easy to manage. But take all that information away where them fish are located and you would have to go out without all that. Now that would be a lot more difficult um, to go and find them. And um, I'd imagine one or two of you might actually go bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> by overfishing but wouldn't that be interesting what do you think comments below put it in the comment section below what would you think so we're going to fast travel into this area here very easy to find the pollock because we get all this information on the screen so um we're going to we're going to fast travel here and what i'm going to do is put these little flags across that area there's a good reason for that it's very difficult to navigate on the map in the actual ship look so at the moment, you can see the little flags, so I know I'm going in the right direction. That's why I did that, because it's very easy to go off course. Because at the moment, unless things are change, unless things do change, because I mentioned um, to, the, to one of the game developers last night um, how difficult it was to navigate on this little map here, and you couldn't see a great deal. And if 
possibly, possibly, I don't know if they can do this. If you saw the big map earlier, if they could get that big map and sort of make it smaller to go in there and you can, you know, you can scroll in, scroll in and you can scroll out and move it left and right or whatever and you can see a lot more information on that map in the boat than what you can see now because it's really difficult. If you can see this lot, it's a lot easier to navigate. Um, I don't know if they can do that. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what they can come up with and also zoom in so you can see it a lot better. At the moment on this version, you can't. But this isn't the final version. Maybe they can evolve the game in the future to do something like that. I don't know. Watch this space. We'll have to see. So, it's especially difficult to navigate when you're bobbing up and down like this, when it's a little bit choppy. And it does get a lot rougher than this. This is, this is quite tame at the moment. So by dropping them little uh, marker flags down on the map, I can sort of keep an eye um, that I'm actually um, on course, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on the uh, right direction to where the pollock, where the fish were actually located. We have got a sonar there on the right hand side and you can see the fish. Doesn't look like there's a great deal of fish down there so we'll just have to take pot luck. So we dropped a long line down. Um, did he have 2,000 nukes on? I can't remember now. We dropped one of the long lines down. I think it may have been a 2,000 hook one. Um, I, I say I can't remember. Um, I've got quite a bit of kit on board and um, we have baited up with the mackerel because the mackerel should give me um, less chance of catching the cod. We probably will catch a few cod but uh, we should catch uh, more pollock. Um, if we knock on wood and we're real lucky. So we're bobbing up and down now. <laughs> I'm trying to release this line. I'm battling across the waves. Now, the waves. If I can, I'll put an eye in the top right hand corner now and it'll take you to a video of how uh, the, uh, the waves have been created and managed. One of the game developers did a video, I came across it, if I can find that video, I'll put it up there right now, and um, maybe after this video you can go and uh, check that out. Gives you a little bit of information on, uh, on the waves and the ocean, and how it all works and how they developed it. I watched it, I found it quite interesting. So, I'm going to drop another little line here. I should have dropped one of the big ones, I think, right across, but... Uh, it's just one of them things today. I'm just, uh, I'm just um, learning the game, and I'm, I'm playing through it, and I'm, I'm trying various things as I'm actually playing it. Like I say, you know, you, I'm, I'm one of them people um, with this particular game. I will probably turn it into a bit of a series, like um, a few of the other regular games that I play. Um, I don't think it's one of them games that I'm going to pick up and put down. I'm going to, I'm going to, I can see myself playing this as uh, as one of my regular games that I play. Like I say, I've put 40 hours in it so far, so I'm 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 keen. I, I really do enjoy the game. So I'm struggling to stay on course actually with them where them flag markers are. It's the uh, the waves are, are sort of rocking me about a bit. And uh, as you drop the line, you've got reduced power, your throttle's sort of reduced. It automatically reduces the power, so uh, I haven't got a great deal of power. So I'll put two, two uh, long lines down in this area, and I'll take pot luck on what we catch today. I've got quite a bit of money, I've made quite a bit of money, so I'm not... I'm not uh, I'm not going to go bust yet. <laughs> we got quite a bit of money in reserve. See, I'm going backwards now, am I? What's happening? I'm fighting against the waves here. It's really difficult to explain just how difficult it is to actually control this 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 boat on these waves at the moment. Um, these waves are really affecting are really affecting the maneuverability of uh, of the boat. <laughs> and they also I also suspect because it's it's quite easy when you first start off in the game. 
you have that little boat as I mentioned before then you have the next boat up and then you um, if you've got enough money and you've made enough money you can buy this boat which isn't too difficult to this this boat or ship whatever you want to call it it isn't too difficult but I suspect once you next get on to them really big boats the game will totally change because um, they're going to be you're going to be catching a lot more fish and I would imagine that's when your fish management of fishing the areas not to overkill the habitats of the fishing areas because uh, once you do that I believe you kill them off I don't know if they steadily <laughs> come back I don't know but uh, that's something I'm trying not to do as I take a little shot of that there of the ship in action going through them waves that's something I'm trying not to do is uh, kill the fishing habitats I'm a little bit wary on that at the moment because I don't sort of know the mechanics or how it's actually programmed um, on the uh, fish habitats so I've dropped two lines in which have got to stay in the water for probably I think a minimum of 18 hours and I need to pick them up I think before 24 hours I think after 24 hours they uh, they start to go off and you can um, lose your lines so I need to kill a little bit of time I'm going to take a gamble I'm going to go right over the other side of the map and drop a line and then hopefully by the time I've travelled down the other side of the map or across the map wherever I'm going to drop these lines hopefully by the time I've dropped them lines um, it, and the time I come back um, these lines here will be ready uh, for collection So I'm going to drop a second line here guys and hopefully collect that um, a little bit later on. Okay, here we are, we're back now collecting the original long lines that I first put down. I have actually put that other line down I may have cut the video in half here and edited it by the way guys because otherwise I'll be here for about two hours <laughs> there's a lot to it so we'll just concentrate on the first two lines that I didn't actually put down and it's a little bit rough up here it's a little bit rough up here captain it really is and I'm struggling I'm struggling my little crew member he's gonna have to work a lot harder but the skipper's not doing a very good job at lining up and getting them boys he's, he's got to hook up on them you see so we'll I'll just can I put it in reverse I'm struggling I'm struggling against the waves here I really am the waves are really um, pushing this boat around I suppose there's a knack of getting over them is there I don't know but uh, <laughs> I'm really struggling um, to maneuver to get that line to hook that line I really am let's try again it's really difficult to explain just how difficult this is when the waves are pushing the boat around let's see if I can can we get close oh dear oh dear it is so difficult I'm at the mercy of the sea here So we've got two long lines out in this area and uh, I'm hoping I can uh, pick them both up and I can get uh, I can get the full catch I can get the full load um, on the ship I'm hoping I've got enough capacity storage area on the ship to get these two lines because they're, they're only they're only small there's not a vast amount of hooks on these lines I think I think the 2,000 hook lines um, I don't know whether it's 2000 or 2500 I can't remember but uh, something like that so I'm hoping when I do get them <laughs> we can get it get them on board both of them 
we've got the storage space and the sea is rougher I mean it was it was pretty tame at the beginning but now it has gone a little bit uh, it's gone a little bit rougher and it does I think it does get rougher than this I mean I've seen it kick the boats these small boats I've seen it kick the back ends up that like you can actually see the propeller of the boat so look out for that just in case that happens Right, let's just hope my crew member is ready. As the skipper attempts to navigate toward... Yay, we got it! Haul them in, haul them in! <laughs> we want Pollock, we want Pollock. <laughs> let's hope he does a good job here. We'll just stay in this view for a little bit. Why, uh... I'm spinning round. There we go. We'll just stay in this view for a little bit. I'm just watch the ship in motion. Why, uh, my little crew member is uh, pulling in them long lines. So why he's working away there? Now I don't know how many people are actually interested in uh, in this game and purchasing purchasing this game. Um, but don't forget about the giveaway, guys. Look out for that video coming up. Um, later on over the next uh, few days I'll be doing the uh, giveaway video but uh, if there's anything you would like to see in this game um, or any changes or you know anything in particular you would like yourselves um, to see in this game put it in the comments section below and I would like to see a horn on the boats I've not come across a horn on any of the boats yet I want a fog horn. You can't have a boat without a horn. And do you know what else? I like their mancus to actually be able to drop their mancus. That would be cool. So you could actually um, be out on the ocean and drop anchor. Or pull up to the docks and drop your anchor. And then you could hear the noise of it going down, couldn't you? Maybe they'll, they will evolve that into the game later on. I don't know. What would you like to see in the game? What would you like to see in this game? What would you like to see in the future? Put it in the comments section below. Right, let's go. See, we should now, yeah. We, we should have enough capacity on board this ship to actually pick up that other line and take them all back to the harbour. Now... Like I say, I probably chopped the video in half. You didn't see... Well, you, you probably saw me going there on the map. I dropped another line. I think I'm going to run out of time. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to pick this line up here. And I suspect this will fill the boat. So it's not as though I can go over the other end of the map and pick up cargo there. Because it won't go on. Well, pick up the catch there, should I say, not the cargo. Pick up the fish, pick up the long lines there on the other side of the map. Because it won't fit on this ship. I suspect these two lines now are going to fill this ship. So, I'm going to have to go back to port. Back to harbour to sell them. And I can fast travel there. I can fast travel back to harbour. But the difference is, on this ship, all the fish have got to be packed before you can unload. Now on the first two ships, you had the little boat, and you had the next one after, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that, because on the first wooden boat, there was only you on it. And you caught a small amount of fish. On the second boat, you had one crew member, and you didn't have to pack the fish. On this boat, you have to pack the fish. And plus, I've upgraded this boat, I have got a freezer on it, so I could drop a line and then another line. I want to put these two lines close together. I could have put one here and one further down the map. And as I'm travelling down, I could have gutted and um, put them all in the freezer. And that would have um, made the lifespan of the fish um, not expire 
um, so quickly. I could have put them in the freezer. But uh, going back to the port, we've got to pack the fish. So, can we get out? Let's just get out the chair and have a walk around this, uh, walk around this ship here. Now there is a door somewhere. Where is it? I like, I like how you can see the shadow of the guy. Did you notice? You can see the shadow of the guy, but you couldn't see his head. <laughs> the shadow had no head. I'm pretty sure I've just seen that. So that was quite amusing. Now, <laughs> this is the work deck. Here you go. Look at this. This is the work deck. So let's go back up. So there we go, we've got a full, a full capacity. We filled the ship, we should get a good return for this, hopefully, um, back in the harbour when we come to sell it. So now we've got to work the crew, we've got to work the crew. They've got to start gutting and packing. They really have gutting, packing, stacking. <laughs> and they become tired, they do, they get tired. They shouldn't get tired. They've had enough rest, right? So the skipper is going to sail the ship back to the uh, back to one of the. Uh, I'm going to go to the nearest harbour. Um, I'm going to go to the nearest harbour. I'll probably fast travel, and no doubt why I'm fast travelling. They will continue doing a bit of packing and gutting, uh, gutting. I think why I'm actually fast travelling. But believe it or not, they probably won't be finished by the time I get to the docks. So uh, yeah. On we go, chaps. So here we go, guys. And I'm nearly, I'm nearly running aground. You're running the ground, Captain. You're running the ground. <laughs> I'm nearly hitting the land here. I'm struggling to control the boat. It's, uh, it's a little bit rough out there. It's a little bit rough out there. And uh, trying to navigate into this one particular harbour when it's just slightly rough. Is, uh, is a little bit difficult and I nearly, nearly, very nearly um, sunk the ship there. <laughs> you possibly can sink the ships actually and damage them because there is a uh, there is insurance to take out in the port. You have got boat insurance and there is a recovery service, Mayday service. There's a little radio icon. If you get in trouble, they will come out and fetch you, but they charge you. They charge you. I went exploring towards the edge of the map and it, it turned into like icebergs and things. Loads of ice and I hit the ice and um, it didn't do the boat very good. I had to call the rescue service out and it cost me a fortune. So I'll just manoeuvre myself again and, and attempt to get back in. Obviously I, you uh, obviously when the uh, when the water's like this you need to stay in the middle. Well you need to stay in the middle anyway going into this one I think. There is some marker posts down the side I have noticed. Now I could I could I could quite easily fast travel in. I might fast travel in because it'd be easier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, we're just going to have a little go. Just see how difficult it is. Bear in mind, guys, all this could change. This isn't the this isn't the final version of the game. I'm just going to try and change. I've been messing about a lot with the graphic settings. I'm just going to try and change the brightness and the gamma just a little bit, so I can perhaps uh, see a little bit better. I have been experimenting with all the graphic settings um, just recently. I'm struggling with the gamma though, the gamma and the uh, what's the the brightness getting it right because there's that many you know 
lighting effects in this game and shadows it's uh, it's a little bit difficult to get it right for me at the moment it's either too dark or or too bright it's just it's just getting it perfect right so let's have a let's have another go wobbles don't sink the boat don't be a jony <laughs> The crew are working hard below. Packing. As well as gutting. Because it's got to be packed by the time we get to the harbour stores. And hopefully we will get a good return. Boy, you've got to be so careful coming into this one. This isn't its narrowest point, by the way. There is actually two entrances to this uh, particular destination, this harbour, this port we're going to. Um, there's another um, entrance just round the other side, and that is very narrow. I don't know how deep it is. I don't know if you could get one of the big, uh, one of the bigger boats through there, but that one is very, very narrow. This is the uh, this is the widest entrance to this particular port. And uh, it's a little bit challenging when the water's a little bit choppy. But you're soon going to be an expert skipper, Wobbles. You'll be on the Discovery Channel soon. <laughs> Sailing them in real life. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I like here... Um, a few sound effects off the shortwave radio as well. Mayday, mayday! <laughs> I'd like to hear a little bit of uh, the uh, the shortwave radio. That would be good. A few sound effects off that. Add to the realism. I think I mentioned that in one of the previous videos. Boy, look at this! See, I could have done the video, and I could, when we st when we set off at the beginning, I was checking the weather, and I did notice it calmed down. I think it was on the Saturday and the Sunday, and I could have I could have had a very very easy run and and gone out in calm waters, but uh, no, I decided to go out when it was just a uh, just slightly uh, just slightly choppy. I don't think it's storm conditions. It's just uh, it's just a little bit rough. And the game has got seasons in. Um, I'm in the winter season, I believe, at the moment. Uh, I've done my first year in the game, actually. Uh, I'm not too sure if you start off in January. I, I can't remember. January 2017 in game. And I've done the first year. I'm on. I'm in. Uh, I'm in 2018 now. If I remember rightly. But I've most definitely done my first year, my first two seasons in game. Something else, what would uh, a lot? I'm surprised people haven't mentioned this on uh, previous videos. But something else, what would make this game um, a lot more realistic? Let me, shall I just check my crew, see what they're doing? See, one of them's gone bad. He's tired. We've got a heck of a lot of packing to do, so we're not ready to unload at port yet. Look, he's gone. He's got tired. Come on, get back work. <laughs> They're tiring them out. Um, so, yeah, what would make it a little bit more realistic, and nobody's mentioned this um, on any of the previous videos, is, is the windows on the ship. I mean, I don't know if they could do something with the windows um, at some point um, as a future update, or maybe for the next game, or whatever. Um, in the future um, make them windows a little bit more realistic because most of the time it looks as though there's no windows in the actual boat if you got them water splashes on the window and you had the wipers and things like that that would now that would be a real game changer on it wouldn't it if you actually got them fantastic water splashes on the on, on the windows that you sometimes see on some of the driving games some of the water effects nowadays that they put on 
um, things like windshields is absolutely amazing and um, I think that would make looking out in them ships windows absolutely epic um, I don't know if they could do that but uh, I don't know how difficult it would be to do that but uh, yeah future update of something like that on the, or in the next game would be absolutely epic but it doesn't spoil the gameplay I, I do enjoy playing this game I'm going to dock here at the uh, we're going to dock and uh, see, see Luke this is what I was on about you can only sell the fish that's been packed so we've got to work here in the dock now and actually pack the fish and this is going to take quite a lot of time and remember that other line I put out well forget that, that's dead, that's gone, I've lost that that's dead money so this is got to make now so I'm going to skip time a little bit so what I'm going to have to do is skip time, work them, rest them, skip time it looks like because this is going to take quite a long time so I've got to organise the crew, it, seems to, it does seem to take quite a long time, hours, um, doing this. See, you can only sell what you've packed, that's it. That's all you can do. You've got to, uh, you've got to pack the fish on this, on this particular ship to unload. So it's a case now of organising the crew and, uh, just making sure they do the job as uh, as efficiently as they can. Oh no, the line's still there. We still got the line. That line is still there, but uh, I suspect it won't be there very long. It's going to go off. That line is going to go off, and we're going to lose it. That's a that is a goner. So let, let's just go back to the docks. The only trouble here with with the crew when you when you're stuck in this particular um, scenario that I am at the moment and you, you haven't packed by the time you get back to the docks is when they want to go off on rest, you've got to keep hopping in and out of the menu. Um, the docking menu um, to fast to fast forward to skip the time because the sky the time you can only skip the time in the dock menu so what you're seeing here is me leaving for fish and organizing the uh, the crew here and then I'm having to go back into the uh, dock time dock time I'm having to go back into the docking menu uh, to skip time See, I can't skip time here. As far as I know, I can't skip time here on this. I've got to go here. I've got to go over. Uh, I've got to go into the dock menu. See, there's two. They're too tired now. And if I could skip time here, it would be a little bit easier. But I have to go here. I have to go into the dock. I'll sell some, uh, sell some more fish. What they've done, and we'll. Uh, I'm going to have to skip time. So you can only skip time, it appears, in the uh, in the dock area. So I'll skip time, and then we'll monitor what the staff are doing. You can't get the staff nowadays, can you? You know, you just can't get the staff. You can't get the workers at all. So we'll put them back to work. Hopefully by skipping time, they've had enough rest. And uh, we'll just watch them now. All I can do is real. All I can do as a skipper is just uh, wait now and... Um, organize the staff and that's it we'll go out I'll skip let's just cancel that I'll skip time so you have to you have to go in and out the menus this might change by the way just remember this is a this is a press copy a pre-release pre copy this is not the final version of the game all this may change so uh, what are we on now let's cancel that let's Let's, uh, let's advance the time a little bit more and uh, no doubt we have lost that other line now because this has just taken so much time to actually pack um, them fish. There we go, finally <laughs> the last lot of fish have, uh, have been packed and we can, we can offload them now. The crew can have a, a jolly good rest. 
and uh, we can offload um, our fish, the last remaining fish. And this is the captain's log, everybody gets the log book and it just records all your previous sales and catches, events, jobs and all sorts. I think uh, I think we've looked at that before in a previous video. So there we go guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything you would like to see in the game, if you'd like to see anything changed in the game, leave it in the comments section below. If you've got any questions, I will try to answer them. Leave just ask me in the comments section below and uh, there, you, there you go. And uh, look out for the future giveaway. I'll be doing a video real soon. Um, telling you guys how, the, how you could possibly win a free copy of the game. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yes, Luke, see, I did lose that line. I told you, I told you. That was bad planning. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. See you all again real soon.